Okay, so now we have our total thyroid. And we have here, um, I'm acting like the posterior side is facing up. So this would be my right lobe, my left lobe, and my isthmus. I don't have a pyramidal lobe. If I did, it would be right here. So we're going to orient this. As we know, our lobes taper superiorly and our isthmus is usually on the inferior aspect. So I'm gonna ink these. I'm gonna do my right lobe one color, my left lobe one color, and my isthmus a third color. And then I'm gonna do a posterior overlay. So I'm gonna start with doing um, my isthmus. I'm gonna do black. And where the isthmus begins and the lobes end, I kind of do it right where it starts to join the lobe. And again, we're gonna go all the way around. And um, when we start on this one as well, we are going to weigh it. So there's our isthmus inked all the way around. So. We will mordant that now. And again, for this one, we're pretending it is a follicular lesion. As we know, our four types of thyroid carcinoma are the uh, papillary, most common. Next, we have follicular. Then we have medullary and anaplastic. Papillary, most common. Medullary uh, arises from those parafollicular C cells, not from those follicles like our other types of carcinoma. Okay, again, I have the, now this is my anterior side. So now posterior is facing up. So this is gonna be my right. I'm gonna do my right red. I usually do most things that have right and left. I always do right red. They both start with R. All right. So just make sure that our my inks match up to each other. And again, this exterior surface is my thyroid capsule. So we'll talk about that uh, in our gross description. Describe our exterior thyroid capsule. In this case, it's nice and intact. Get that ink everywhere. Good. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do my left green. Green ink is the really stubborn one. I gotta really get done in there. Okay, so this is my anterior. Ink the entire thing all the way around 360 degrees. Again, make sure that my green ink matches up with my black ink. And um, this is just a regular piece of flank steak from the grocery store, sirloin works well. Um, and thyroid actually is very um, similar texture. Obviously you don't have the striations like you do, which makes it just a little bit more complicated to section, but I'm gonna mordant this. Let me cl close up my ink. My posterior is facing up right now. We got red on the right side, green on the left side, black on our isthmus. Normally what we would do is we would take a fourth ink color and overlay the posterior over top of these colors. So then when I slice through, I'll know with each of my slices what's anterior and what's posterior. I happen to, at my at-home grossing bench, only have three colors. So I'm gonna be really careful when I lay out my slices to make sure that I maintain my orientation of anterior versus posterior. But those of you at home, overlay a fourth color onto your posterior aspect so that we can maintain the orientation of our slices. So, We've described our, described our outer surface. We're now going to measure each of the three lobes in three dimensions. So one, 
two, three of my right lobe, same for my left lobe, and my isthmus. Again, kind of where your isthmus ends and your uh, lobes begin is sort of arbitrary, but make sure that you take your measurements where you uh, designate your ink and where they meet each other. And if you had your pyramidal lobe, you would measure that separately in three dimensions. Now, in order to serially section this specimen, I'm going to amputate my right and left lobes and isthmus and serially section them each individually. So there's my right lobe, my left lobe, and my isthmus. So I'm gonna serially section superior to inferior, superior to inferior, and this one I'm gonna do from right to left. And so then I'm gonna lay them all out individually and we will pick it up there. Okay, so now I've sectioned my thyroid, my right lobe from superior to inferior, my left lobe from superior to inferior, and my isthmus from right to left. I've laid out all my slices. One thing I forgot to mention is before you serially section and ink, you're going to want to look on the posterior aspect and ensure that you don't have any attached parathyroid glands. You shouldn't, but it's always good for quality control to verify that you don't. So we're going to say that we have a lesion in our right superior lobe, and on FNA, it was a follicular adenoma. So in order to show that this is indeed an adenoma and not a carcinoma, we're going to need to entirely submit our lesion capsule. So first we're going to measure our lesion in three dimensions. So it's 2.0 by 1.6 by 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 by 1.0. So as you can see here, I have made the red lesion with a black capsule. Obviously in our real specimen, we're going to have a red tan central area with a white tan well encapsulated um, surrounding capsule. So here's our lesion here and what we need to do is show this entire capsule here, our lesion capsule, and its interface to the adjacent thyroid parenchyma. So what we're going to do is trim these sections, or sorry, first we need to measure the distance, just like we did on our thyroid lobe, the distance to our anterior and posterior inked surfaces. Again, these aren't margins, they're just our inked surfaces of our thyroid capsule, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 from both anterior and posterior. And on this specimen, we do not have an isthmus resection margin, so we do not need to measure that distance. So we are going to now submit our entire lesion capsule. So what I'm gonna do is trim off these sides. So now I have my entire lesion capsule with its adjacent interface to my thyroid parenchyma and my thyroid capsule. So then I'm gonna submit that face down in the cassette and then we'll do the same exact thing with this one trim it off. So in this case, because it's small enough, we can submit our entire lesion. If you had a very large lesion that let's say was um, 4.0 centimeters in greatest dimension, what you could do is just cut strips of the lesion capsule in relationship to the thyroid parenchyma, and you don't need to submit the central aspect of this lesion just our outlying outer uh, layer capsule and its interface with the thyroid parenchyma. So uh, we would submit our entire lesion capsule here, and in this case, our entire lesion since it's small enough. And then we would describe our uninvolved thyroid parenchyma. I would call it red tan uh, with intermixed pale tan fibrous bands. And then we're going to submit representative from the right lobe. We'll do superior and inferior, left lobe superior and inferior, and one representative section from our isthmus. So again, follicular, the only way to differentiate follicular adenoma from carcinoma is to see if there is any extra capsular invasion out of our lesion capsule or any vascular invasion. So we want to see the entire interface of our lesion with the adjacent thyroid parenchyma. 